Hi there, I'm Lisa Starr from Win Business. We're a UAS-based uh, consulting and education company. I've been a SPOT consultant for over 15 years. And what does that mean, right? What's a consultant? Well, I like to help people who own and operate SPA businesses to do it more effectively. I'm here in Toronto giving a one-day course on just that, spa management, you know, what are the important things to think of. It's not a thing you can learn in one day, right, it's much more complex than that, but we touch on some of the main topics, finances, human resources and your staff, marketing, and operations issues. Some of the biggest mistakes I see spa owners making is around the financial components of it, you know, overpaying their staff is number one. Our labor is quite expensive and we make it more so by not thoughtfully coming up with good compensation plans. We also see spas not doing well because they are undercapitalized to begin with, especially in a new business. The owner often thinks, well, it'll make money in the second or third month and you, you will have good reviews and clients coming in, but you're not cash flow positive yet. So you really need to have a good amount of cash stashed away in order to get to the point where you can survive. Another issue that we're facing in the spa industry is a lack of differentiation. Spas are all doing the same thing, the same menu, the same prices. It's boring. You know, what are we doing that's different or interesting that can compel the client to choose your spa over another spa? And you need to be thinking about that. Are you visiting other spas? Are you going to retail businesses? Are you going through the mall and seeing what are they doing over there? What's fun and exciting that I can replicate in my place? We have this history of the spa being sort of this temple around massage and facial and quiet and young people today don't want that and we need to modernize or we're going to lose market share. 